You there! The territory of the Red Exiles shouldn't be traveled lightly. Ashlanders once respected each other, helped one another. You'd think these were house wolves or tribunal dogs, the way they treated me. Lord Vivek, is it? And I thought all the tribunal cared about was building monuments to their own greatness. Nice to see that one of them cares about what's going on beyond their borders. Ashlanders are nomads. But we gather at sacred sites to trade, confer, and pay homage to the past. Aldrin is such a place. That's why my brother, Chodala, is the Ashkan of our tribe, and I am his ambassador. I act as a go-between among the tribes. Chodala wants to unite the Dunma and calmly end the era of the bickering houses. Head into the Red Exiles camp and find my brother. Otherwise, see if you can find out what he was doing in there and where he's gone. No, just our tribe, the Urshilaku, though he's respected by most of the other Ashlanders for his wisdom and strength of will. You seem to have survived your visit to the Red Exiles camp. Did you find my brother? Interesting. I never suspected that the outcasts were disciplined enough to keep records such as this. It means that Chodala really has changed. With his newfound powers and rising ambitions, I fear what he plans for the tribes. Chodala discovered new power out in the wilderness, and it changed his view of the world. He writes... You don't know? I thought... No, you're not an Ashlander. And the house elves rarely talk about such things. Long ago, there was a hero named Nerevar. He fought alongside the tribunal, before they claimed to be gods, until they betrayed him. So our legends say, Nerevar united the Kaima and forged an alliance with the Dwemer. He died at the Battle of Red Mountain. The Nerevarin is a promise and a prophecy. We believe that, through the power of Azura, Nerevar will return to unite all Dunma, House and Ashlander alike, and make Morrowind great again. 
While the prophecy of the Nerevering can be interpreted as the end of the Tribunal, I have always seen it as a prediction of hope and peace. He uses in Ashkan's words to plant dark ideas in his followers. You shouldn't be here. Didn't you read the House Redoran proclamation? I wouldn't be here myself, but some of my miners are still in there. Our mine was invaded by violent cultists. They showed up and, and just took the place over. Probably because I heard one of them say, with this ritual we'll call forth a mystical weapon and attain the power of a god. Really? That's awfully brave of you. If you see any of my miners, tell them to get their arses out here. Huh? look like one of those crazy cultists and you certainly aren't one of our miners really then forget I said anything about his holiness nasal preening the savages barged into the deep chambers seemed to know about the hidden passage and everything stole the rest
Did you find what you were looking for in the mine? Of course. I perfectly understand. shame I brought to Malakath. An assassin. Probably a Morag tongue. She's just one woman! Get inside the ruins and stop her! Let the assassin come. I'm tired of running and she doesn't frighten me. Well, we're not what I expected. You're not a cultist. At least you sure aren't dressed like one. You're walking with questions? I don't have time for questions. I have a writ to complete. Come out, little assassins! Or is the Mora Kong too scared to meet the powerful snag face to face? Explains everything. I'll just let the Talani know. I'm sure Mage Vayne will understand. Oh, that's right. I thought for sure you were going to kill me. I am. Uh, I 
hate when my leathers get wet. And this is a new outfit, too. Ah, well. I suppose we ought to discuss what you're doing here. You're obviously not one of the Malakath cultists, so I have one question. Why the tusk are you following me, and why shouldn't I just kill you and be done with it? Oh, that's not what I expected. But you can just turn around and leave. You're not going to find her. They really? Is that what old man Eris told you? And did he tell you about Vea's brother? About how House Redwin exiled their favored son? No? I didn't think so. Vea... Outsiders? Is her father really that desperate? Look, tell Eris that Vea's safe and you'll see her soon. But no... Well, it's not exactly a lie. And I don't want things to get out of hand. I'll arrange a meeting, provided Vea agrees. You let Eris know she's safe. Get him to stop hiring freelancers before someone gets hurt. I suppose if you're in for a sliver, you might as well be in for the log. I'm with the Morog Tong, and what you witnessed was a legal murder. Vea and I have a history. A brother, too. They were good kids. Liked to watch me train. Now I feel responsible for her. That was her decision, not mine. Bay is good with a blade and tracks like a Lord Ranger. She's that was poetry in motion. Not only is my organization getting choice assignments again, but we're starting to recover some of our prestige. Specifically, these Malakath cultists interfered with House Telvani, so they had to be dealt with. Oh, him? No one special. Just the leader of this particular band of mad cultists is more... I can't believe Lord Vivek wouldn't see worse of us today. May I be of service? I'm surprised to see you back here, but I'm also relieved. Vea? Join that cult of assassins? I was afraid she'd do something rash. But what was she thinking? She won't meet with me? No, I suppose she's not ready for that quite yet. As for Vea's brother, that was all the doing of the Redoran Council. Naryu's back in town? She's as stubborn as Vea. Very well. No other outsiders. Although I... As you say. No other outsiders. But there are rules, Outlander. I must do everything within reason to maintain the honor of House Redoran. When next you see her, tell my daughter that I want to talk to her. Vea has always felt shackled by the rules of House Redoran. Hobbled by the many duties and obligations it presses upon its subjects. That 
may be an oversimplification, but I suppose your statement is accurate. Look at that. Now you said I... Did I mention how much I hate being a messenger? Makes me wish I had a writ so I could kill something. Anyway, now you wants to talk to you. Said here. This should explain everything, sort of. It's a map. Which never had to use a map before. Uh -huh. Amateurs. This one leads to a key to one of our safe houses. And another map. The first map? It depicts a particular town. Kind of like this one. Hint, hint. The rest? Look, I know you're helping Councillor Eris, but if that map falls into House Redoran hands, I'll probably have to kill you. Not what are you implying? Can't a person do something nice to help out an ally every now and again? Oh. Then you understand what I'm talking about. Being noble. Doing the honorable thing. It can... Well, look at you. You're a practical genius. The Morag Tong has the authority to accept and carry out writs of execution. We keep the great houses from engaging in all-out war, but they rarely appreciate the work we do on their behalf. Ugh, the other houses have used us to take Redoran down a peg or two of late. To be frank, for all their vaunted honor, the house cries foul whenever someone gets the better of them. As I understand it, the Morag Tong made mistakes in the past, grew too arrogant, This is taking forever. If you just listen, I'm in need of a strong set of legs, Traveler. I have an obligation to my family. It allows one to archive memories for future generation. I thank you for your aid. Fewer than ever are willing to aid their elders in these troubled times. Do you make a habit of randomly accosting people while they fish? I don't see how that's any of your business. Whatever this is about, it's no concern of mine. My father managed to leave me out of his life. He can leave me out of his problems, too.
Sorry about all the subterfuge, but we can't be too careful when it comes to security around here. Don't be so eager, my darling. It reveals too much about your ultimate intentions. But yes, Vea would very much like to meet with you. You intrigue her. And Redo in records. House officials keep track of everything. Incidents, commendations, births and deaths. Whether it... Don't sound so offended. You had to know your hands were going to get dirty eventually. You are. I think we should execute criminals on sight, but my captain won't allow it. He wants your bounty. Fine. Now get your stink away from me. Still alive, I see. And since you're here, that means you weren't captured and hauled off to a Redrin dungeon. Good. Ulran was exiled. That can't be right. He's an exemplary officer and a good man. Plus, he's the son of a counselor. There's an abandoned cave along the coast. It's in the swamp and smells like rot, which makes it the perfect place to hide. Get to the swamp and find Vea. She's eager for any information about her brother, so she's really going to appreciate getting that registry. Just Vea would face too many temptations here in Balmora. Friends, favorite places, familiar sights and sounds. Oh, don't thank me, hero. As long as you're useful and don't betray us, then we're engaged in a mutually beneficial arrangement. Vea's young, bored, and stubborn. But danger's a relative term, especially when you're dealing with relatives. You look like a well-traveled individual. If you're looking to give your mount a well-deserved rest, you've come to the right place. My father? Oh no, has he taken a fall? Or did he... Oh, Mills. He was so young when mother passed. I've tried to explain that father had to work to keep a roof over our heads. 
but it's been difficult. Oh, yes. Father is well regarded among the Telvanni masters, even though he's never aspired to be one himself. I'm afraid I don't know. All he's been able to tell me is that part of his contract with Master Drenum forbids him from disclosing any of the master's business. Even I wish he didn't have to work so much. Master Drenum pays well, but sometimes I worry he will work father to death. I did for a bit, after Mother died, 